an appeals court seeks more information on a lawsuit to block November's Charter Amendment election. Following a zoning commission rejection, a proposed Tobin Hill Lofts developer continues forward. A San Antonio police officer who fatally shot a mentally ill woman serves a suspension for protocol breaches. And a month from training camp, the Spurs still don't know Manu Ginobili's plans. If I struggled all year long, I didn't play or I was in pain the whole time, it would have made my decision way easier. I'm Chance Dorland with your express briefing for Friday, August 24th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. Thursday, the Fourth Court of Appeals ordered the San Antonio Professional Firefighters Association to file a response by Tuesday to a request from the Secure San Antonio's Future Political Action Committee to overturn a district court ruling that led to the city council's calling of the November 6th Charter Amendment election. The order is the latest turn in a case that began with a lawsuit to block the measures that the union and its own PAC had failed to disclose more than half a million dollars in payments paid to Texas petition strategies to collect enough signatures to appear on the ballot. The amendments would make it easier to use referendums to challenge council ordinances, cap the pay for future city managers, and give the fire union unilateral power to take contract negotiations to binding arbitration. The developer of a proposed Tobin Hill condo complex plans to push forward following a Tuesday snag with the Zoning Commission, saying he'll heed commissioner's suggestions to find a happy place where everyone can be proud of what is being developed on the corner of East Euclid Avenue and North St. Mary's Street. The most recent plans for the legacy lofts include five connected five-story towers, each floor in each tower acting as its own unit, surrounded largely by smaller single-family homes in the area. Tuesday, the Zoning Commission voted to recommend denial of that plan, instead approving a zoning change that would permit 15 instead of 25 units to occupy the same space suggesting a shorter, less dense building to better accommodate the area. Records show a San Antonio police officer did not follow protocol while responding to a call that resulted in her shooting and killing a woman with a history of mental illness, noting that Officer Crystal Estrada disregarded a handgun magazine she saw in the woman's home, which would have indicated the woman could be armed. Documents state the officers forced their way into the room where the woman had barricaded herself and discovered she had a gun, with Estrada sending an unarmed cadet to help in trying to disarm her. The six-year veteran was initially handed a month-long suspension in connection with the January 27th shooting, but that suspension was reduced to one week in mid-August due to her rights under the collective bargaining agreement. And just a month from training camp, Manu Ginobili has yet to commit to playing for San Antonio in the 2018-2019 season, with ESPN reporting he's seriously considering retirement. Following the Spurs' April 24th playoff loss to the Golden State Warriors, Ginobili told reporters he wasn't sure if he would return. I've been contemplating <laughs> retirement forever, so <laughs> nothing changed. I, I just don't know. How will you start to process and make that decision? Um, I let a month, two months go by, yeah. and then I'll see how I feel. Um, I'm not the type of guy that takes makes you know decisions in fly and when you're upset, hurt or whatever. So I usually let it sink in and see how it fits. It's not just you, there's a lot of guys on this team that have some decisions to make. Will that impact your decision perhaps? Uh, no, I doubt it. I doubt it. A lot of things gotta change mm -hmm. for that to be a factor on my decision. It's just a matter if I see myself as an ex player or not, if I when I do balance if I see that I you know 
that is enough or not. If I see myself as an ex-player or not. So no, I, I don't think it depends on on uh, the other factors. The fact that you got through the season relatively healthy, relatively effective, does that play into it too, though? That you seem physically. I mean, yeah, for sure. If I struggled all year long, I didn't play or play poorly all year, or I was in pain the whole time, it would have made my decision way easier. <laughs> Um, but still, yeah, I don't know. Manu Ginobili has a year left on his current contract after winning four NBA titles during 16 years with the Spurs. And that's your daily San Antonio Express News briefing for Friday, August 24th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts.